William Schulkel. Ms. Kaminsky. Here. Mr. DeSarno. Here. Mrs. Jaffer. Here. Mayor Burke. Here. Ms. Munia. Present. Mrs. Knight. Here. Mr. Felicia. Here. Mr. Schulkel. What? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. It's a meeting of the Borough Council Board in the Providence County Union today in New Jersey. Adequate notice has been given in accordance with PL 1975, Chapter 231.9, Annual Notice of Revision, was made in conformance with Section 13 of the Act. Okay, we need approval of minutes for the adjourned meeting on January 4th. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, so be it. January 4th, the organization meeting. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, so be it. Uh, January 22nd. Motion, please. So moved. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, so be it. January 25th. Motion, please. Second. All in favor? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. No, so be it. Okay, we have uh, correspondence from the Borough of Madison. Um, supports the state's goals to uh, combat uh, climate change and incorporate planning and budget process. Uh, Comcast, uh, right away, payment of $60,000 in uh, $60,825. And Verizon, um, $102,120. Um, always happy to get them at the beginning of the year. Um, but they are going down because a lot of people are live streaming now. Uh, Donna Durando about the uh, sidewalk condition over on Springfield Avenue. And Colliers is looking at it. All right. Uh, DEP, suspected hazardous <coughs> that that's a... Uh, a tank removal. Um, Natalie and Kerry Bergman, uh, City of Summit, uh, Board of Adjustment, and Valerie uh, McEnany, uh, Willow Street Parking, and uh, the City Police over. I think they were very well aware of the situation. That's been going on for years and years. Okay. Yeah, I thought there was no parking over there. So. Then we'll, we'll have to check with the police yep. department and get back to them. Okay, we'll go to Council Business uh, Administration. <coughs> You're up, Diane. There we go. Resolution 2022-057 is a resolution of the borough um, regarding an agreement with the North Jersey Wastewater Cooperative Pricing System. It's basically an agreement um, authorizing the borough to enter into a cooperative pricing system an agreement with the North Jersey Wastewater Cooperative Pricing System for the purchase of work, materials, and supplies. This is a new co-op that we're entering, and the borough does uh, these type of um, co-ops to basically save money. So, for us, um, 2022-058 is a resolution of the borough council um, to, to adopt standard operating procedures for the New Providence Community Garden. And then resolution 2022-059 is a resolution of the Borough Council um, adopting a mission statement for the Capital Improvement Committee. Okay, uh, in the activities, Pete. Yes, Mayor. Resolution 2022-60 is a resolution authorizing the application for Local Recreation Improvement 2021 grant for the Borough of Providence. Uh, speaking with our Borough Administrator, what this resolution would do is to approve a grant in the amount of $74,622 through the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs to be used for the walking path around the community pool. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Finance map. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution 2022-061 is a transfer resolution appropriation reserved. And this is a traditional transfers that are required at this time during budget season. Uh, there are line item adjustments uh, being made for our budgets where we may not have used the same appropriations and we can uh, over to appropriate places. Resolution 2022-062 is a resolution authorizing emergency temporary appropriations. And again, this is the rule this time of the budget cycle. These are emergency temporary appropriations. Um, provide, this resolution provides for continuing operation of the borough. Uh, one of the things I noticed in there that's interesting with our gas. Um, Bubble. 
Resolution 2022-063 is a resolution authorizing payment of the attached bill of payable list in the amount of eight million three nine five two two zero point seven two. Uh, significant items in this uh, bill's payables uh, is the Board of Education payment of eight million two two one five three three for their February payment, as well as the library of eighty five thousand five eighty five for their February. Uh, resolution 2022-064 is a resolution refunding or applying overpayment of taxes to certain property owners. Uh, this uh, authorizes a refund of an overpayment of taxes in the amount of $5,178.97. Sometimes, I guess, uh, the tax withholding agencies get a little zealous and withhold a little too much on someone. You might as well keep going with engineering. Resolution 2022-065 is a resolution authorizing agreement between the Borough of New Providence and CGP and HLC for affordable housing advisory services. This is a, an improvement, uh, an improvement of uh, an agreement between CGP and HLC and the Borough, which will allow them to provide professional advisory services related to our affordable housing units. And this uh, resolution is not to exceed $4,000. Okay, we have a limousine license uh, for Summit Express. It was properly, properly prepared and uh, examined by the police department. Um, 2022 066 is a salary resolution amending the uh, rate for crossing guards from $22 uh, an hour to $23 an hour, effective January 1st. And we have, which I'm happy about, a resolution for Gen Electric for $42,150, and that's for the flashing uh, pedestrian crossing lights, LED flashers, about them in Central. Okay, uh, one thing I do want to say is that, you know, people think, you know, it's just two poles with the flashers, it's $42,000. So, and they are expensive, but we have committed to, uh, you know, go through the borough and upgrade and, and create more of these uh, crossings. Okay, uh, Public Works, Lisa. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, resolution 2022-068 is a resolution approving the requisition number R2102024 for Rapid Pump and Meter Service Company in an amount not to exceed $27,703. Uh, this is through the Bergen County Co-op contract number 21-13, and it is for the wastewater treatment pumps. Uh, basically what this is, is a, it's a replacement pump. Um, actually, it's more like, it's like a, from how it was explained, like a grinder with teeth, and it kind of grinds up all the stuff that goes through there before it clogs mm -hmm. up our They call it the monster. Called the yeah. monster, so... <laughs> Very important uh, to, for the health of our wastewater treatment plant. And basically these get replaced every three to five years or so, so it's time. Uh, then we've got resolution 2022-069. That is a resolution approving requisition uh, R2200227 for Tilcon New York Inc. in an amount not to exceed 525000 this is MCCPC contract number six for 2022 road overlay program. Uh, basically what this resolution is, is for uh, maving and, uh, paving and milling, 50 mil and anything. So milling and paving of the roads for 2022. It's just to keep us on track uh, for our schedule. And then lastly, we have resolution 2022-070 is a resolution approving requisition R2200278 for Stefeli and Son general contractor in an amount not to exceed $90,000. Uh, this is MCCPC contract number six for 2022 sidewalk, uh, sidewalk program. And uh, this purchase order is for sidewalks to get us back on track uh, on schedule for the spring break on Jones Drive. Okay, great. Um, Discussion items revision to sign ordinance. I think, um, and you were here, but I guess just before COVID, a few uh, business owners came and wanted to talk about the sign ordinances. And 
we asked them to come back. They never did. But what we uh, what we did was um, talked about with the planning board uh, once we came back into session. Um, and uh, Matt, I'll let you take it from there because you were integral in, in that. In sure. that. Yes, yeah, so, study. So the, the planning board basically went to surrounding communities, Summit, Chatham, Madison, right? Um, they looked at their ordinances uh, and, and wanted to make sure that we were in step with what our surrounding peer communities are doing. Uh, and also just wanted to make sure that if there's anything that we were doing that was disadvantageous to our business community, we wanted to make sure that we corrected that. Uh, so after that review, uh, it came to the conclusion that we are in step with what our, what our Peer surrounding communities are doing. Uh, we did notice that there was one um, one wording relating to uh, lighting of signs that was more conducive to today's you know signage, right? Uh, and and uh, the types of lighting. And so they're recommending that we change or amend our ordinance to incorporate the, that wording in the sign ordinance. So uh, that was the only recommendation from the planning board. If we approve, the other okay with it. We'll, we kick, we'll kick it back to the planning board. The planning board will amend the ordinance and send it back to us. Right. Uh, I think the, the planning board did a, a great job with this. It took them a long time to, to uh, come up with this. Um, we are uh, we're actually a little more lenient than a lot of the surrounding towns, and we want to make sure that. You know, in 2021, this hasn't been looked at for a long time, that we were uh, consistent with the, the other communities around. We don't want to give another community an edge over what we're doing, but we found that we were very consistent. In fact, in many ways, a little more lenient. So um, does anybody have any uh, questions? Yeah, I have a question. So why are there blank spaces in the grid? Does that mean that they don't have a policy for that? They don't allow it? It's a good question. Um, so I, I did ask, uh, and, and it's hard, right? There may there may be ordinances in other towns that are where certain things are being addressed in a different ordinance, right? So we looked at the actual sign ordinance, for example, right. for each town. So if there's a blank there, it doesn't necessarily mean that there wasn't an ordinance in that town related to it. It could have been addressed somewhere else. Yeah. I do want to just say, uh, you know, like John FX King on the planning board is the guy who put in tremendous effort. And, Collecting all the data and putting the matrix together, and planning for it, and spent some simple time discussion. So yeah, John, John put in a lot of effort in this. So we want to thank him. Yeah. A lot of different types of signs. Yes. And you're not not just signs though; it's signs and banners. Um, all, all yeah, things. banners and uh, things you can put on your building, hang off your building. There, there's a lot of information on that. That's, that's great. Great job. So, uh, anybody else have any comments? Yeah, I think it takes a pretty common sense approach also to the issue of signs and banners. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we all, all in agreement? Send it back yeah. to the planning board. Is there a okay. Yeah. Okay. Terrific. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, committee reports. I guess uh, I'm first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, just public safety. Uh, public safety meeting. We had a meeting, uh, I guess it was yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> and um, the, the major thing we were talking about was the uh, traffic report. And uh, it's completed. We looked it over. It'd be okay. So they're going to give a 10-minute uh, presentation to council uh, next week. And that's all I have. Okay, back. So we didn't have a board help meeting uh, this month. So we're going to meet next month. We'll be updating after that meeting. Uh, I think the board of health is being uh, asked by the board of education, right? Um, some of the things that are coming out are the mass mandates and things of that nature. So uh, we'll have a more robust report on that uh, later next month. We just had our kickoff meeting for finance just uh, earlier tonight. First review of our budget. We still have a lot of work to do. It's not that I can report right now. So, more to come on that. We do have multiple meetings set up throughout the rest of the month in March. Uh, what else can I tell you? I, so, 
So actually, uh, Councilman Sarner just reminded me we did attend uh, a community activity advisory board meeting with the Recreation Department. He's going to give an update on that. I'm sure I just wanted to mention, in, in, you know, I'm a huge fan of our recreation here in town. I think it's one of the reasons why we're a very, very lucky and successful town. I think our recreation department does a phenomenal job. And they, and they go out of their way to look for ways to, uh, to, to bring things to the community. Uh, and I just thought it was interesting that and I wanted to mention we were just in the meeting and someone knocked on the door and asked where the Lincoln yoga room was. And uh, uh, our, uh, our uh, rec department showed us this new yoga room. They actually basically just took a closet that we had downstairs on, in our basement here in the building. They cleaned out the closet, broke a couple of mirrors, and it's a yoga room. And actually, uh, apparently, it's doing pretty well. So they showed us a little uh, useful tour of that. Did you do any yoga? I did not do yoga. Oh. <laughs> That's because the beer was right. But anyway, just again, just another, another you know, innovative, neat thing that our rec department does. Matt's waiting for the hot yoga. <laughs> 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 I'm a goat yoga guy. The boiler's on its top. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Yesterday or last night, I should say, um, you know, uh, kickoff meeting there as well. So certainly a work in progress at this point. But um, you know, our, our end product, our five-year capital plan, will then feed into Council Committee uh, Comiskey's finance team. So uh, we'll continue that those efforts. Shared services. We're going to be meeting on Friday. Uh, so looking forward to that. Sustainability. We've not met since the last my last report to Council. Um, and then community activities, so a little bit of a rundown on some items that are timely right now. All winter programs have resumed after break. <clears throat> Senior activities continue to be held at the municipal building and via Zoom while construction is completed at the Corso Center. Uh, basketball season is ongoing and will continue through the month of February. Registration of spring youth spring programs started today, Tuesday the 8th and is available on Community Pass. Adult spring class information will be available on our website soon. Registration for baseball and softball is still open. Registration for summer programs will begin on March 8th. The brochures will be available on the recreation website by the end of February. Um, the rec is hiring counsel, counselors for our summer camps. Interested parties should register via Community Pass under the 2022 summer employment. Uh, it was mentioned tonight uh, in the resolution that was presented. The community garden will now be managed by Community Activities Department. Interested residents can sign up for a chance to be a part of the garden beginning next week. If the, interested, if the interest exceeds the amount of plots available, a lottery will be held to determine the spots. And then finally, as was mentioned earlier, the exciting news came last week when we were awarded um, a recreation improvement grant in the amount of $74,672. Uh, the grant funds will help us continue the renovations on the municipal recreation pathways that connect the pool, tennis courts, community garden, and basketball courts. That's it, Mayor. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Councilwoman Galiska, if I said that right, I just want to Carrera, um, and I will be meeting with the diversity committee chairs tomorrow. And um, they will hopefully be able to come to either the next meeting or the meeting after the tell stuff or plan for the year. And other than that, operations normal. Thank you. Well, uh, operations normal, but I see that one of our business owners just walked in, Mr. Burkett, probably here to talk about the uh, sign uh, ordinance revisions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you can comment in a few minutes. Oh. But I'm done. Yeah, when, when Lisa. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Lisa? Uh, thank you, Mayor. So um, I'm looking at these committees. So communication. Uh, we actually met uh, a couple days ago. It's just sort of a kickoff to kind of pick up, you know, where we left off last year. Uh, we got an update and, you know, a status of some current projects, uh, namely the, the website, um, to hopefully, uh, you know, put a little bit of a timeline in place. I, prodding on their part, um, but that is still in progress, the website, um, revisiting the website. Um, 
What else? Um, HTTV. So that is going to be a go. And um, we are, so HTTV, if you recall, it's a local uh, cable access station that goes not just to New Providence, but like the, many of the surrounding towns around here. So by doing some PSAs and maybe some you know talks on there, we will be able to not just reach New Providence residents, but reach uh, residents in surrounding communities as well. So the thought there is like if something is happening in town that we kind of want to draw in some, you know, some folks, that's a, a good way of doing it. Um, also some PSAs, you know, we we're talking about, you know, the plastic bag ban that's going to be coming, so it's a good way to, to reach our, our citizens. So we are going to hang heads, um, a couple of us, to kind of come up with some ideas of how we can uh, write these PSAs and what they should be focused on. Okay. Uh, one more. I have um, Municipal Alliance that met last week. Uh, planning for every 15 minutes is well underway. Um, happy to say so that will take place on May 23rd the filming will be on the 23rd and then the viewing of the video will be on the 24th they've secured 28 students uh, to participate uh, they have a videographer uh, the police the courtroom the attorney were all secured and reserved ready to go and uh, so we're kind of looking forward to that at that moment that'll be good um, Another initiative that the Municipal Alliance is looking to do is really, you know, not just, you know, it's very important, right, to get the kids early on, middle school and high school, but what happens after high school? And we've seen, you know, in town and, and surrounding communities, some instances with issues of post-high school, post-college, and we think it's important to reach out and have some way to reach these, these young adults. So really just kind of brainstorming around that and how, how we can reach them, you know, besides social media. Um, you know, one of the issues is how do we even know, you know, post high school, post college, what, what young adults are still in town, but we'll, we'll find a way. <laughs> We're working on that. Um, and then lastly, there is, on February 22nd, there's gonna be a, a free, what's called QPR training. It's question, persuade, refer. And that's going to be training to assist in learning to recognize signs of suicide and help prevent it, which is also very important. Um, you know, it's just dealing with an emergency response to someone that's in crisis. So that's a, a 90 minute session that's going to take place in a second. We have a 10 second. Is it counting? I think it's 23rd. I'm sorry. February 23rd. Okay. Again. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so the Board of Ed has not had a meeting since we've met. Um, they are further to what Councilman Kaminsky said. They're basically following the guidance of the um, Board of Health. So that's that. And then the Historical Society had the salt box was open this past Sunday, which is always a nice thing to go to. And their archive room will be open this coming Saturday, February 12th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., which is always interesting to go see. So I encourage you. And that's it. Great. Thank you. Who did that? Thank you, Mayor. Um, a little update on the Corzo Center. We're hopefully three weeks away from being able to reoccupy that building after the damage that was caused uh, to Hurricane Ida. Um, she Rock is going up, taking the stock in this week. We're going to have the flooring installed next week. Um, they're changing the ceiling tiles. Making. There's a whole lot going on over there, but it looks like it's coming to an end, so hopefully we can get to that. Um, our seniors can be back where they want to be. Um, the recent uh, cold weather slash rain slash snow slash everything mm -hmm. else that's going on out there has taken a toll on our roads. Um, to report potholes, please use the action line on the <coughs> website. They're <coughs> popping up all over town. Um, yesterday we had an incident on Avenue, I guess water has gotten underneath the road and it bubbled the road up. Um, so DPW is out there today uh, remediating that. Um, so if, if the public can help us and assist us by um, reporting the potholes as they see them, it would be really helpful. Um, May 4th uh, begins the plastic bag ban in New Jersey. 
um, our DPW in conjunction with our public information officer and our green team um, have started hanging posters in all the surrounding um, stores, just reminding people and business owners that effective on May 4th, um, the news will pass. That's all I got. Okay, thank you. Okay, at this time we have public comments. Anybody wishing to address council? Oh. Yesterday, Rob was in the restaurant and mentioned that the neon signage is going to be on the calendar. Uh, and I said to him, honestly, I can't remember how long ago it was that it was talked about in council. I don't know if it was. Uh, oh, two years ago. That was my guess. Um, but I remember when we spoke, uh, there was concern that it wasn't the character of the town. Uh, and what I said to Rob last night when he brought up, I said, I really don't remember where it left off. But my recommendation would be, and I don't know if the decisions were made yet, um, we've had neon, and it's kind of customary and traditional in the liquor stores like M&M uh, and Providence Liquors, for as long as I can remember. Uh, and the council issued four liquor licenses. So my thought was a limited approval for industries that it's kind of standard and customary way of identifying your establishment. Well, you didn't address council, you actually addressed the planning board. And oh. uh, they said they were looking at you were going to come back with some recommendations. Oh. And you never did. But then COVID hit and we put it off. But uh, council, uh, not council, but the planning board, we brought it up. When, I guess about a month ago, that we got to finish this off. And as uh, Matt brought up, uh, they did a, uh, a substantial study of the neighborhood towns, and ours is actually more lean in many cases than the surrounding towns. So there was a minor change that uh, they made, right? Yeah, we were changing wording on illumination signs. Um, it's in the agenda. I don't know. Is it on the agenda? Is that yeah. the agenda? Yeah. So it's going to go back to the planning board, right? Uh, the planning board is going to incorporate that wording into, into the ordinance. And it's just to um, bring more up into today's standards, right? Uh, our ordinance 10 years ago may have said uh, neon, when actually not neon. <coughs> LED. Right? So, uh, so, so things of that nature. So um, my suggestion would be to reach out to maybe it's Margaret. Uh, as uh, we get closer to adopt or amending the ordinance for the planning board, the planning board is going to amend the ordinance and then approve it and kick it back to the council. To approve. So you may want to you may want to look to attend that planning board right. to, to talk through you know, any concerns. And I know the next planning board meeting is the fifteenth. I don't know if we'll have it by then. I doubt it. So it so probably be March. I think Margaret's the right person to yeah. you know reach out to let you know when that's going to hit on the agenda. So the council so the can give you the uh, the new information. Okay. So the council tonight just tweaked kind of the language. So and so the planning board did the review of the existing ordinance and, and reviewed it against surrounding towns: Summit, Madison, Chatham, uh, I think Berkeley Heights as well. Yeah. Um, and, and Burnsville put together a matrix of all the, the different uh, items, right, and their sign ordinances. And we were, the mayor said, really in comparison to some other towns. So um, there were no recommendations to amend the existing ordinance, just tweaking the wording on one of the, on the description of uh, illuminating the signs. So we approved that verbiage to be amended under the ordinance. Uh, the back of the planning board. The planning board will then basically rewrite or amend that ordinance to incorporate that wording, and then it has to come back to the council. Okay. Get in touch with Margaret and see where they're at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Shirley. Yeah, I want to get an option. You have to come up here and give your name and address. Okay. My name's Robert Sherman. I live about 15 Hawthorne Drive in New Providence. Uh, 
I've been in the garden for many years. In the past two years, I've been the one running it as the coordinator to make sure everyone obeyed the rules, mostly related to cleanup and making sure things operated properly. And the past two years have been an interesting time with the pandemic and Aya. As some of you may know, the garden was flooded by Aya. So the activities really involve coordinating with the borough and with public purpose. I wish to thank the council, public works, and the administration for the past years and things they have done and things have worked well. And interest in the garden has really increased in this town. Past two years we've had applications exceeding plots by far. I think last year we were 20% over subscribed. I think the changes suggested by Bernadette are positive. And I think that's going to make things improve. The move to recreation is a definite positive in that it will make the garden application more visible and accessible to people through community paths. That's a good change. And will probably lead to increased applications, I hope. Also, I've been sending emails to gardeners from the past two years. I think the goal of the garden of many gardeners is to figure out how we can expand within that limited space. And it is limited. We realize that's a real cost to New Providence. Our operating costs, real costs, are about one third to one half the subscription costs, but we have no idea about the soft costs related to public works picking up our trash, delivering chips, delivering the soil. Soil purchase is a real cost, and we have an estimate. Well, we can get an estimate of it. So things can work out in the future if we have an idea of way of reducing those soft costs. And I think coordination with public works can help with uh, working, talking to Ralph and Bernadette. We might be able to get some costs down. Overall, on behalf of the gardeners, I wish to thank the New Providence Town, the Town Council, Public Works, the administration for all the past work that they have and support they have shown the guard. And I request the council to the change and propose that we're in Thank you, Robert. Thank you. I want to thank you for, for doing that. I have a garden there and I love it. And oh, you did? Yes. Yeah. Two, two years? I had one last summer, yeah. yeah. And you, you, do, you do a great job of communicating and, yeah. and running it, so yeah. thanks. Yeah, I think the change was in 2020 we had people who gave up in the middle of the year, and there was a lot of cleanup at the end of the year. This year, I nagged people <laughs> by email, and pe there was only one plot that needed work at the end of the season, which is a plus. Well, well thank you for your effort. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. I'll tell you, that was probably one of the best uh, eagle projects that ever came about, and uh, Jonathan Romeo was the one who uh, who uh, had that as an Eagle Scout project, and I know I was there with Dr. Bob. Mm -hmm. It was so hot that day mm -hmm. that my my battery in the, in the drill conked out. I had to wait for it to cool off. Good thing I had a couple more batteries, but it, it was, uh, it's really, a, a, it's been a great uh, community activity. Awesome. And uh, I think what we discussed about the community garden that Ralph and uh, Allison are going to be working hand in hand on that, so and it, it's worked out well. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address council? Nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very public comments closed. I need motion for items one through fifteen, please. So move. I'll second that. Roll <laughs> call, please. <clears throat> Mr. Hi. Mr. Desai. Hi. Mr. Gaffer. Yes. Mr. Munoz. Yes. Mrs. McKnight. Yes. Mrs. Gillespie. Aye. Well, I, a couple things I want to do is, uh, it's, it's been a little past, but uh, I want to wish our, our uh, community a happy uh, Lunar New Year. It is the uh, year of the tiger. So, um, and it's Black History Month, and I just you know, ask everybody to be aware of uh, the contributions that uh, the black community has made throughout the uh, United States in our history. And, uh, you know, please educate yourself. I mean, I think we all want everybody to learn everyone else's culture. And I know we go to the diversity committee events and we learn a lot. So uh, 
it's a great educational process. So, uh, Ed, I wish everybody good night and thank you, and uh, God bless. Motion for adjournment. Motion for adjournment. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. No, so be it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.